Hi, welcome to my Sitecore Experience Accelerator XXA 1.8 installation video. I'll be working with a fresh install of Sitecore 9.1.0, but you can apply the exact same steps for Sitecore 9.0 and 9.1.1. However, you must download SXA 1.8.1 for Sitecore 9.1.1, and the links to each version are in the description below. Follow the SXA 1.8 link for Sitecore 9.0 or 9.1.0, or the SSA 1.8.1 link for Sitecore 9.0 or 9.1.1. Download the installation package for your Sitecore version. Once downloaded, follow the second link for Sitecore PowerShell extensions. Click on Download, then scroll down to version 5.0. Download the full release version. Once both the SXA installation media and Sitecore PowerShell extensions are downloaded, go back to your Sitecore control panel. Click on Install a Package under the Administration section. Click on Upload Package. Click on Choose File. Go to your Downloads folder and select Sitecore PowerShell Extensions 5.0.zip. Then click on Choose File again and repeat the step for the SXA installation package. Press Next and check the Override Existing Files checkbox. Press Upload. Once it is uploaded, press on Choose Package. Select the Sitecore PowerShell extensions, then press Open. Press Next. Press Next. Press Install. Restart the Sitecore client. Press close. Click on the install a package link again. Repeat the steps for SXA 1.8 package. Agree to the terms and conditions and install. Once you're done with the installations, you must add two solar cores for the SXA related indexes. Open your solar folder. It's located under C, Sitecore, Solar, Solar 721 in my case. This will be the same for you if you followed my Sitecore 9.1 installation guide. The link will be available in the description below. Go into Server, then Solar. Duplicate your Sitecore Master Index folder twice, then rename one to SXA Master Index and other one to SXA Web Index. Leave your Sitecore prefixes the same. The prefix might be different for you. It's Sitecore 9 in my case. Go into each folder, then delete the data folder and core.properties file. My Solar Admin Panel can be accessed at https solar 8983 solar. This should be the same for you if you followed my Sitecore 9.1 installation guide. Click on the Core Admin tab from the side navigation bar. 
click on Add Core. Enter the names for the new indexes on the Name and Instance Directory fields. Sitecore 9 SXA Master Index and Sitecore 9 SXA Web Index in my case. I just copied and pasted the folder name directly to the interface. Click on Add Core. Repeat the step for the web index. Lastly, open your root folder for your Sitecore instance. It's under C, inetpub, www root, Sitecore 9 in my case. Then navigate to the Sitecore XA Foundation Search Solar config file under app config modules sxa z.foundation.overrides. This is a great time to install a text editor if you haven't already. I highly recommend Visual Studio Code. You may need to edit this document as an administrator. Open this file using a text editor as an administrator. Find the following lines on the screen. It was line 662 and 679 in my case. Edit the dollar sign ID string inside the parameter description equals core tag to the name of your XXA indexes. I just copied and pasted the names from the solar core admin panel. Save it. Now go to the Sitecore control panel and click on Populate Solar Manage Schema under the indexing section. Uncheck all the boxes except the Sitecore SXA master and web indexes. Once it's done populating, click on Indexing Manager under the Indexing section. Check the Sitecore XXA master and web indexes, then press rebuild. That's it. You should now have the ability to add tenants and tenant folder under the content item, along with all the tools and features of Sitecore SXA.